Hello everyone, this is King and welcome back to my video. Today I'll be showing you where to find Flyer Nectar Jelly and Flyer Pollen. Now Xenoblade 3 is still relatively new. So finding monster locations, collectible locations, or even where to get materials can still be difficult if not impossible to do. Hopefully you'll find this video helpful or informative. I'll try to keep it spoiler free, but be warned, there might be unintended spoilers, so be mindful and proceed at your own risk. Feel free to leave a comment on what other Xenoblade 3 videos you would like to see as well. Also, if you know any other locations where you can find this particular mob, feel free to leave a comment below and share. Be sure to follow me for other Xenoblade 3 content as well, or just check out my Let's Play, which is included in the description below. Now let's get started. Flyer nectar jelly and flyer pollens can be collected from, of course, flyers. Okay, they are these things here. They look like mosquitoes or moth. I think they look like moths, honestly, with their little antennas. But they can be found right here in the AT region. So as soon as you begin the game, you start here at Colony 9, just head southwest, all the way down here, and in this entire area here, they are strewn out in groups. So they come in maybe groups of three or four. Right now there's a group right here. I believe there's a group over here as well. There's a group up here. And I believe there's a group over here. So there's quite a few places in this particular area you can farm them. So these flyers, they all drop the same thing no matter where they are, where you find them in any location. So coming up here to the low area, low level and farming them is probably the most optimal thing to do. You can get the common version, rare version, and legendary version from these flyers. It doesn't matter. It also doesn't matter what their prefixes are. So if it's a light flyer, dusk flyer, blue flyer, whatever type of flyer, they still drop the same thing. If you find elite monster flyers or UM flyers with unique names, they still drop the same amount, same materials as long as they are the same species, same race as these flyers here. If they look the same, they drop the same thing. doesn't matter if they're a different color, they're bigger, smaller, or what. They drop the same thing. Typically they drop anywhere between, no, typically monsters, they drop anywhere between one to two to three different types of materials. These flyers drop two, so that's pretty much all there is to it. If you killed all these flyers here, so, like that, and there is a group over here. There is a group, I believe, over there. You can see past those Camille's, where that EM Camille is, Elite Monster Camille. Off in the distance, there's a group over there. There should be another group, I believe, up here. Yep, you can you, you can probably see that over there, glittering in the distance. Right there where the Rogel's flying, that level 4 flyer's over there as well. So there's probably three areas, a fourth area is over there. But you don't want to mess with that. At least, you won't see that. This is only different from my game so you'll see if you'll eventually see that but if you're just beginning the game you probably won't have that issue that that level 62 mobs over there so don't worry too much about it if you want to reset if you've killed all the flyers and you still need to farm for materials you haven't got the materials you needed you can definitely just click on an enemy press up and have them attack you and just wait until your HP is depleted once your HP is depleted it will definitely restart or reset to the to the last known landmark you were or rest area and the enemies will be resetted or you can find a nice little cliff like this and jump off of it it'll reset as well you return back to the same previous aforementioned locations or you can just wait till they respawn they do respawn your last option is to go from a different region and come back here and they will also respawn as well all right folks that is it for this video today hopefully you found that helpful Please let me know what other Xenoblade 3 content videos you are interested in seeing as well. And be sure to follow me for more Xenoblade 3 content I do post daily. And I'll see you all in the next one.